Hey friends, Tessa Bies here from Precocious Paper. I've been having a lot of fun lately with my new tab punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. And the first project I made was a set of personal size planner dividers. The tool is so fun and I cannot wait to use it on a lot of different projects, but it's made for pieces of paper that are on the inch. That's how the guidelines work on the tool itself. And that's great, makes so many things really simple. But a personal planner page is six and three quarters of an inch. So if you want to do a set of dividers that are perfectly centered and spaced from top to bottom, there's a little bit of tweaking that you need to do to the instructions that come with the tool. A little bit of a hack that you need a Sharpie marker for. It's pretty simple. There's a little bit of math involved, but this is a tutorial to make a set of five small tab dividers for your personal size planner. So step one is to trim your paper to size. The tabs are about three quarters of an inch tall. And so you're going to want to start with pieces of paper that are six and three quarters inch tall and four and a half inches wide. So personal size planner page is about three and three quarters wide. And so that extra three-fourths of an inch is what we need for the tab. So when you have these dividers in your planner, the pages are going to be flush with the edge of the divider and then the tab just extends from there. So I'm using my We Are Memory Keeper score and trim board to trim some pattern paper down from the Urban Chic collection, also by We Are Memory Keepers. And I've been having a lot of fun with this tool. I've had the same trimmer for years and I love it. It's my trusty trimmer, but I've been having a lot of fun with this one. Um, one of the things that I really like about it is that when it is all laid out like this, it's a full um, solid base. And so I can put a whole sheet of 12 by 12 paper in there and it's not bending or folding over the edge. Also, I'd say my favorite, favorite part is that when you put the um, arm down that has the trimming blade in it, it's magnetic and so it really clasps down nice and tight. I tend to be a little, um, uh, I don't know, careless <laughs> sometimes when I put my paper in and I end up with like a diagonal cut because, you know, I let it slip after I put the bar down. So the magnetic clasp there really helps me keep things lined up nice and straight. Something you're going to want to consider is when you're looking at the pattern on the pattern paper. How is it going to sit in your planner? Um, I made the mistake the first time I was playing with some very pretty paper that I didn't have a lot of that I cut it in such a way that then the pattern looked sideways. And so um, you want to make sure that because the pages are vertical in your planner, that the um, orientation of your pattern paper makes sense to you vertically as well. So just, you know, take your time. Don't be super fast and careless like I was. I would also suggest that when you're trying this technique out, that you actually try it on scrap paper or just some plain cardstock that you've got a lot of, because um, chances are you might make a mistake and it's just good to practice um, not on your good stuff. So um, as soon as you've got all of your pages done, then you're ready to start making the tabs. And you'll see for this video, I'm just showing you top, middle, and off center. So that's why you see three pieces of paper instead of five. Step two is make your top and bottom dividers. So you get your tool out and you're going to first take the tab alignment piece right here, the tab alignment bar, and you're going to put it in the slot that allows you to punch the edge and you get that cool file folder shape. Then you flip it over and you line it up with the grooves to the right of the punch that say small tab. Then you flip it over up here on top, you put down the bar, pull out the blade, and you trim the excess off. Easy as that, you now have a divider. Now to make it really nice and finished, you're going to put your tab alignment bar back down in the other slots and use the corner rounder punch to get a nice round edge there. 
and there you have it. There's your top. So step three, here comes the hack. We need to make some guide marks on the tab punch board. So start with a four inch piece of paper. I've just got a four by four square here that was in my scrap pile. And you need to mark the center of it. So you're gonna put a pencil mark at two inches. Then you're gonna take this piece of paper up to your tool. Make sure you take your tab alignment bar out, put that back up in its resting position. And you're going to line up the left edge of your paper with the grooves to the left of the punch that says small. Now what you'll notice is that the line that you drew on your piece of paper is exactly aligned to the side of the punch. That means that's where the center of a small punch is on a four inch piece of paper. So now slide it over to where it says medium on the left side. Now where you see your pencil mark to the right of the punch, take your Sharpie marker and make a little line on the tool directly above that. Now you've got the center of a medium punch. Slide your paper over to where it lines up with where it says left, or not left, large, and then again mark where that pencil line is. And now you've got two little Sharpie marks and you know exactly where the center of all the tabs are for small, medium, and large tabs, no matter what size your paper is. All right, so the next step is to make your center divider. So we are gonna take that six and three quarters inch piece of paper and we're gonna find the center of that and that measurement is three and three eighths of an inch. So I mark it with my pencil and then I realize I can barely see that, the pattern is too dark. So that's why I flipped it over and marked it on the other side. It doesn't matter because this is the center page. Um, but you are going to want to make sure that you're making your marks on the front page so that they are exactly where you want them to be. All right, now take that piece of paper, slide it into the punch, and line it up exactly with the edge of the punch. Now we're doing that because we want to make small tabs. So then over here to the right, the grooves that are in the tool that say small, I line that up and punch, and then I come up here to trim off the excess. Now a tip here, start in the space between the tab and the extra paper, and then trim from there. So you're going from the inside out. It's I, I think it gives you an, a cleaner cut, and the paper's more stable as you're sliding the blade through. That just seems to, to work really well for me. Plus then you don't accidentally slice off your tab. Then you put your tab alignment bar back into the slots for the corner rounder punch. Do the edges of your divider and you're all set. So now you have a center small tab on your divider. Here's what it looks like lined up with the top one that we just did a moment ago. See, nice and perfectly centered. So the last step I'm gonna show you is how to make an off center tab. And basically the concept here is that you need to find the center of your top tab, the center of your center tab, and then you need to find the halfway point between those two places. So the center of the top tab is seven eighths of an inch. And the center again of the center tab is three and one eighths of an inch. So when we find the halfway point, between those two centers, we're gonna find that at two and one eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna mark this piece of paper at two and one eighths inch. That is the center of my off center tab. Same process, I gotta move my tab alignment bar out of the way. Then I'm gonna slide that up into the punch. My pencil line is gonna end up right on the edge of the punch. Then I'm gonna flip it over, line it up to the groove on the tool that says small, and then cut off the excess. Again, going from the center outward, making sure I don't cut off the tab and I've got a nice clean cut. So 
So then the next thing I'm going to do is round those corners. And you're gonna see here that when I do that, I have to lift the tab kind of up over the tool, but you can still get it lined up perfectly. Don't be afraid to uh, let it overlap there. And then slide that corner in, punch that, and there you have it. I'm just doing it again to make sure I got a really nice, pretty round corner. And there we go. So um, this is how they fit together, a top, an off-center, and a center tab, perfectly spaced. And I'm just going to show you here that when I flip over the top, I now have the bottom. When I flip over the off-center top, I now have an off-center bottom. So you follow the same instructions for those. And again, these are the dividers from my planner. And I'll show you back to back here so that you can tell that they really are the same punch. So when you make a top, you can make a bottom just by flipping it over. When you make an off-center top, you can make an off-center bottom just by flipping it over. And that's what it looks like when they are all together. See? So perfect and pretty and evenly spaced. It's great. So um, I know it's hard to jot down all these numbers while I'm speaking them over the video. So if you go to my blog, I've got a post up today. It's linked in the description to this video where you can get a chart with all of these dimensions on it. So you can just print that off and, and have it for your own use. And then you can use those same steps to create any size divider pages for any size planner.